I just realized today that I'm starting this. <laughs> starting our videos right here in the same spot. Luckily I'm like wearing different clothes every day um, just because I keep leaving the camera right here at my desk. My new little desk area. If you haven't watched that video check it out. And again like random things you find on your desk. Like why are my daughter's pants here? Like, I have no idea. Why? So today I'm, I'm kind of being quiet. Abby is getting ready to go. It is Saturday morning. We've already got the kids going on doing their chores. We already have something lost and so we're trying to find it. Mom life has kicked into gear full full time this morning. Um, it is only 9. It is 10 o'clock and I have to take Abby to Children's Hospital. Um, we are going to get her back x-rayed. We went to a pediatrician the other day. Um, did not film it. She's not comfortable doing that. And I knew I wouldn't get like a definitive answer from the pediatrician, but I, I needed to start the process to get an answer for her back pain. You might remember if you've been watching for a little while, we took her to a midwife at the, my OB's clinic and um, trying to figure out if it was hormonal and it might be, but it also might be something else. And so we've done blood work and it has come back normal, Except for the rheumatology blood work. That has not come back yet. Um, they say that can take up to a week, so we won't find out that for a little while. Um, the next step is to get x-rays of her back, and that's what we're doing at Children's Hospital. And if we don't find any answers from that, then we will go um, the route of um, a, what do you call it? Oh, Abby will know the name of it. I'm trying to get a piece of tape off the desk. When I see things like this, I can't like unsee it. I have to, <laughs> I have to take care of it. So anywho, um, Abby's not comfortable on camera very much, but she, well, things like this, she's not upset if I film the process as long as she doesn't have to like vocalize or talk or be seen like her face, that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna ask her if it's okay if I film this process as we try and get answers for her back pain. Luckily her doctor is amazing and has given her a PE release. I love her doctor. <laughs> We've had this doctor since Kaylee was born. So 17 years now. This is her PE note. It says, oh, I wish I had it in here. It says, please excuse Abby from hiking and running because that's what they do. Um, and she said, she may walk unless she's in pain. And then she can't. <laughs> Like, it just is straight and to the point. She can, until she can't, and then that's okay. She stopped. Um, anyway, so Abby's very gl grateful to like, go the last couple weeks of school, not having to worry about the pain during PE. She had like pain shooting up into her back on her last hike, and hiking is required for their PE, and it's just really, really difficult when you're in pain. So that's what we're doing today, and then it's just a regular day. Our friends are, we're not having um, game night at our regular friend's house. Um, we're gonna go out to another couple's house um but we were talking to them and we're like well if it's just the four of us what if what if <laughs> what if we went out to dinner because they live in a different area and they're discovering new food places to go and so we're gonna go to dinner first and then we'll go back to their place and can't play game and so that'll be kind of a fun thing to do um that'll be a little bit different tonight so just start our day. I wish I was actually staying home because kids are kind of motivated to get their um, chores done this morning, but I gotta take Abby. So when we get back, we'll get more of our chores done. And one of my chores is to actually pick up the frogs. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't done it. I think in my head, I'm like, well, maybe I'll have a little birthday party for her. I promised her to have a little party. This is Chelsea, she just turned 12. But I just haven't done it yet. I'm just gonna have her let her have girls come over and have a late night, girly pizza movie kind of a night, but haven't done it yet. So I haven't, I'm not gonna pop the balloons. We'll just put them up in the playroom. But the playroom is a mess, so I haven't, uh, that's why I haven't done it. Let's go to Abby and her back. down here. We're gonna go ahead and make that happen. All right, Abby? Do you want a frosted lemonade? Yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Frozen lemonade and fries. And now we can go back home. All right, it has been hours, you guys, but look. I took care of the frog balloons. This one is dead. I'm gonna put it in the garbage out there. And the other ones I put into bags and put into the garage so that I can figure out if I want to use them later. All I've been doing today is editing 
and laundry, editing and laundry. And those are not dry, so that's fantastic. So we're gonna, I think this is my fifth load. So that's my sixth load. And look, we just broke a jar and cup of applesauce on the floor. So we have now mopped three times today. Fantastic. And clean the counters twice. Two or three times, actually. And what are we doing now, Ash? Hmm? We're gonna make um, cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Yep, and I don't have my laundry bucket down here. So <laughs> pardon the, the laundry here. Chick-fil-A fries can get thrown away. Do you wanna finish your cheese stick? Finish that just really quick. No, don't throw it away. No, you finish it. No. You said you're still shaky. I finish it. Okay, so we're gonna make some cinnamon rolls. She said she can get out the ingredients for me while I finished my editing. We need the mixer bowl though. I know, that one's not big enough. I can lift it up, you're not gonna be able to. She's pretty determined <laughs> when you tell her she shouldn't do something. Can you get even, you're not even tall enough to lift it, let alone like strong enough, girl. Take your hand out. I I've can't. got it pinched. <laughs> Goober. I okay. Um, I think we're gonna need two of these. Is there another one in the fridge? In the fridge. Was this in the in the up there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We are gonna make my cinnamon rolls for Mother's Day. I have learned after my 20 year marriage so far. Sometimes you have to just be productive in your own Mother's Day plans because. <laughs> because I want to have an enjoyable day. Um, also, I haven't really talked about it much today. I'm trying to, I don't know, maybe not even really think about it, but I am. It's my mom's birthday. So we've all kind of been chatting back and forth on my family's uh, messages. And uh, my aunt has been checking in with us girls. Actually, two of my aunts have been checking in with us. My dad's sister and my mom's sister. Um, I'm okay, I, it's just weird. Like my sister-in-law posted a, a picture of the last birthday that she had with my mom last year, obviously. And it's just weird to think she's gone. I don't know, it's just strange. So, um, we're gonna make these cinnamon rolls to try and have a good day tomorrow. And then tomorrow I will make my roast beef, which I'm very excited for. And I think the girls, older girls like it, and Kaylee really likes roast beef with like barbecue sauce the next day. She loves to make like a sandwich with it. So, it's a lot of use. I've got a smaller roast, because I know we don't necessarily like refill, uh, not refills, <laughs> leftovers. Okay, we're gonna make cinnamon rolls. This is not a tutorial. I can post the recipe I use down below. Um, it is nothing fancy. It's Lara in the kitchen, but it has worked for me. So we're gonna use it. Oh, hang on, Ash. Okay, I'm trying to show my girls. Abby doesn't feel well right now. She was gonna learn how to do this. But you have to go in the right order, not just tossing all the ingredients. They're used to just tossing all the ingredients in for things. But you have to take your milk and you have to warm it, okay? Now I tested it, it's warm. Now you can add the yeast. You already measured it out, go ahead. Yep. Then we're also gonna add some sugar, okay? Just so you know, if you're baking with children or this child, plan on messes. <laughs> hey Ashley, I don't wanna make a mess while we're baking today. Ashley, I I don't mess. want to make a mess. You should just put like- so While we're baking today. You should just make like, put like- um, You need like a guard top. all the way around no, you. No, or put something over top <laughs> of the counter so if it spills- I'd still have to clean that. It. I'd have to clean no, that. You just have to unwrap it and then put it in the trash. <laughs> Good idea. Okay, I've got my dough here. It's gonna chill out here by the fire and rest while we are gone. And I've got my pan, my cinnamon, and my butter all ready. And actually I need to um, spray the, the pan. But I did not think we were gonna be going right now. I thought we had a little bit more time. It's not an hour and a half. I thought we weren't gonna head out there till seven. So, I, not that I had time for it to rise, but anywho, I, my dough, and tell me if I'm just crazy or if living in the Northwest is just really hard to get dough to rise due to humidity or lack of heat. I don't know what the deal is, 
but my dough takes forever to rise. So we're gonna be gone a lot longer than an hour and a half, which is what it says it takes for it to rise, but I mean, we easily won't be home until 10 or 10.30, and that's like three and a half hours. So if Abby says that it's rising pretty good, um, I have it right by the fire. I'm gonna have her come and check on it in an hour and a half. She's just upstairs. And if she feels like it's risen, I will talk her through rolling it out. She's done it with me before, um, and this is the easy part, just rolling it out and then kind of slicing it. So um, we'll leave it to her to finish, and then it just goes into the fridge. I don't have to do anything with it tonight beyond that. So you ready to go? He's home. Yeah, Hi. I'm starving. I am too, let's go. This is Ashley, it's for her to snack on over there if you do want to grab a bag. Do to help Abby, like flour? She can do it if she, she is going to do it. It's all over there. All right, okay, cool. Okay, grab this stuff and let's head out. Okay, oh, I, did, I was gonna bring more games, but they have a lot of the games that we play, right? Yeah. Yeah, they have School King, they have, we'll have, we'll have stuff to do, but we brought the kids with us tonight. School King. School King. Oh, and I said School King. No. And you guys are gonna play with their boys, right? Yeah. Chelsea and Henry um, are like weeks apart from each other in age. They've been friends since they were born. These are babies. No. At his week. Yeah, like I know. He's older. Like yeah. maybe five or six weeks. Yeah, oh, we're older. talking like not much at all. Yeah, not much at all. So they're gonna hang out and at the house while we go to dinner, and then we'll come back and play games. They have like a really cool like playroom media room up in like a second second little section of their house. And so it's, um, you can't hear them. <laughs> they can be rough and rugged and loud and noisy and have a big movie on and you can't hear them. And so it's gonna be really nice to still be able to like hang out with them. Kaylee is at the gym with her boyfriend and a couple other friends. And then they're gonna come back to the house and hang out. Um, Abby is just hanging out, having ice cream for dessert, for dinner. Not dessert. She, I was like, hey, how's that dinner? She's like, it's doing really good. <laughs> Abby is a really healthy eater, so I'm not worried about it. But um, so anyway, it's gonna be a pretty drive. It was starting to rain, but kind of is. Kind of is. It's just our weather. It's crazy. Of all the magic 